Since a lot of people are working from home, now is a great time to take advantage of those medical appointments that normally would get postponed. Aubrey Aquino chatted with Sacramento dentist Dr. Andrea Joy Smith about her services being offered at this time. Take a look. Well, when we talk about safety, um, what you've had to do, I know a lot of dental practices were shut down, um, you know, due to coronavirus. What has been happening at your office? Well, the good thing about dentistry is we practice uh, what's called universal precautions for every patient, which means that as part of our routine practice, we wear personal protective equipment such as mask, gloves, um, eyewear protection. But with COVID-19, we've had to add the addition of the N95 mask and we've gone to full face shields and we've also gone to full gowns. So it wasn't that big of a change for us because of the universal precautions that we routine routinely uh, practice. But in addition, the guidelines put out by the CDC for social distancing, we only allow a certain number of patients in the office at the same time. Um, we have hand sanitizer and coughing uh, sneeze guards um, already installed throughout the office. So we're taking every precaution recommended by the Cal California Dental Association, as well as the CDC to keep our patients and our staff safe. That sounds really great. Now, it's nice to have you back to discuss your unique dental practice that you have here in Sacramento. Can you tell our viewers about the benefits of dental implants? Well, yes, dental implants are a benefit because they help to replace mis missing teeth and they can also be used to stabilize dentures. And so many, uh, in fact, implants have been around since the early uh, 1970s when it was discovered that titanium actually fuses to bone. And with that discovery came the widespread use of uh, dental implants. But my practice focuses on many dental implants because a lot of patients who need implants, sometimes they don't have enough bone and uh, conventional implants can be a bit more costly as well. And so the many dental implants are less invasive, they're a le little less costly, and the surgery technique is a lot uh, simpler. So that opens up access to dental implant care to more patients than would normally be able to receive that type of treatment. And did you say if these implants can be used to stabilize dentures? Yes, um, when we're stabilizing dentures, we use about four implants on the bottom arch and that is uh, retrofitted to the patient's existing denture or we're actually able to um, uh, make a new denture that will stabilize the implants. And as the graphic shows there, the four implants are inserted into the bone. Those little black rings on there are these little housings that hold the denture in place. And those housings are changed often because of wear and the denture snaps in place over that. And that stabilizes the denture. It eliminates the need for dental adhesives and things like that. And your denture is very stable and you feel like you have your own natural teeth, which is a great benefit. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to see that graphic and how it all comes together. Talk about some of the benefits um, when you get these mini dental implants. Yes, you can uh, be able to eat your food a lot better. Uh, dentures in general are known for their slippage. And so once the dentures slip around, patients have trouble eating, chewing, talking. They find that they have to use their muscles uh, in order to hold everything in place. But with the dental implants, it's a large benefit when we can snap them into place and we eliminate the need for all of the muscle control of the face as well as uh, needing those denture adhesive that a lot of people end up swallowing and they're known to cause some digestive problems as well. So it eliminates that uh, problem. Yeah, and when you say mini dental implants, I also feel like it doesn't sound as invasive. Um, you also call this a modern approach and solution for missing teeth. Yeah, I, I believe it's the most modern approach. Um, when conventional implants uh, came out, they are larger in diameter, so they require more bone uh, to be removed in order to be replaced. They require at least two or three separate surgeries in order to complete the process. And it also requires um, uh, sometimes six to nine months from the time that they place the implants because there's a healing period of about three to six months while the implant actually integrates with the bone. And then uh, a few months after that, they place the, the crown. So it can be anywhere from six to nine months, depending on how long it takes for your body to accept that implant. Well, with the mini dental implant, it goes in in a self-tapping nature, and it also reaches um, the initial stability that allows us to be able to put a tooth there right away. At first, there's a temporary tooth, 
But when you come into the office with no tooth, we place an implant, we take an impression for the final tooth, but we're able to give you a tooth that very same day and you can walk out um, with the tooth. And so that's why it's a little bit more modern. It's just in general, surgeries in general, like knee surgery, things are being done arthroscopically. There's no longer open heart surgeries or maybe very rare. Everything is done, you know, in a closed manner. And that's the beauty of mini dental implants. Also, I don't have to lay a flap. I don't have to remove a lot of bone. I can do everything pretty much um, in a minimally invasive fashion. Wow, it sounds pretty amazing and might be a good option for a lot of our viewers who need that. Yeah. Um, where can our viewers go for more information? Actually, you can go to my website at smileagainnow.com. And I have a pretty active social media pre um, presence on Instagram and on Facebook at um, Andrea Smith and, or Dr. Andrea Joy Smith Family Dentistry. Oh. And you can, of course, call my office for a free consultation. The number is 916-482-8300. All right, Dr. Andrea Joy Smith, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Aubrey. I look forward to coming to visit you again. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.